Wido <laughs> says, probably quite hard to explain briefly, but if you could touch on how to go about periodizing out training, that'd be unreal. So you can actually, you can kind of explain this briefly if you leave out all the new ones, but periodization, the whole concept is to get your athletes from a detrained state or a lower state of performance up to a very specific state of performance at a very specific time frame within five days of competition or within like a five day period and you want to go from this state here where you're detrained or in a less less good performance position to this final state here now there is what you can imagine a sideways triangle here almost periodization starts with the concept or it forms the concept that you can only add so much load beyond the previous couple of days or previous week of loading you can only progress so much between each one of these phases and so you also want to have a general state of what's known as fitness now when you talk about periodization for athletes we don't mean just aerobic fitness as in that lad is pretty fit we mean in general states of fitness so we mean things like basic jumping ability we do mean some cardiovascular ability we mean some basic skills we mean a little bit of hypertrophy work we mean a little bit of um uh just just general athleticism stuff done so you start off real basic here at the bottom of your periodization triangle and then you gradually get way more specific so you start off very very not specific to the athlete sport you build up a general base at the bottom for your your of your period of your pyramid and then you add a little bit more specificity a little bit more loading lose some of your the specificity or non-specific work specific specific work specific specific work and then you go a little bit more specific and you get more specific until eventually you discard all your non-specific work from your pyramid or your programming tree and then you eventually end up just practicing your sport or as much as your sport as possible while still doing some of your other work and then you peak for your competition hopefully um simple in practice but very very difficult for athletes and coaches around the world to get right as you see all the time with athletes across numerous different sports having per terrible performances uh, the issue with periodization is that you need to force certain levels of fatigue to force some adaption however to peak per your performance you need to reduce these levels of fatigue to let the adaption build up however if you're not doing enough fatigue eventually this performance levels decay over time and so there is an intersection point here between those three different variables between performance peaking and your fatigue where if you let too much volume and training go your fatigue will dissipate but also your performance will dissipate too far below where you want it to be for competition and you'll end up overshooting your performance i suppose through under recovery or under training and at a certain point, then you'll end up in a de-strained state and you'll end up back at the bottom of your triangle and then you'll end up in a place where you are... Start all over again. If you wanted a, a bit of an, an analogy... Fucking Christ. I'm after it? getting verbal dyslexia from you. Are you doing an a, analogy. Car, a car analogy? No, not a car analogy this time. If you wanted an analogy for an overview of what periodized training looks like, if you were painting a picture, right, and you were painting a smiley face on a background... Initially, you paint the background, so you paint the whole canvas with the background. Next thing you would do, the yellow circle of the smiley face, so it's a smaller amount of the canvas again. Then you will do the black circles for the eyes, black line for the mouth, maybe a black outline, smaller amount of the canvas again. And then you might do like white marker for your, your highlights, right? Your training volume, as Gurf was describing it there, where you accumulate a lot of volume that's probably going to be detrimental to sports-specific work, must be very, very large in the bottom. And then it must taper in towards the top. And I think if you were to, to look at the vast amount of periodized programs across the world and you'd look at the main issues they have, is a lot of the time they don't start broad enough. They don't st accumulate enough volume in that broad low specificity area and they go too specific too early so i think that would Gert's explanation would probably be uh as uh as rigid as you need it 